giving discipline. Most people are not givers. I know a person that is a giver when you don't give to people that can give back to you. What we call giving woman of God, what we call giving in, sometimes is recycling, I call it. Give me gifts, so because of my birthday, you're going to give me back. That's not giving. That's business. That's transactional giving. Hallelujah. I can't give him because he can't give me back. Then you walk, you walk in and I say you're a giver. Or when you give, at the end of the year, I want to file tax. Nothing wrong with that. Not, I'm not saying something wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But that should not be the focus. Hallelujah. Whenever a pastor comes and talk about money, hey, that's the reason I, did, I left the other church the last time because they're talking about money too much. All these church, money, 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 business. When they say pay your tithe, say pastor is going to use it for to buy suits. Hallelujah. <laughs> By God's grace, my suits are very powerful. <laughs> that's the only way I put it, powerful. So you can't afford it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So many people, what we call giving is not actually giving. Amen. It's recycling. Praise. When you say you give, you give and you remove your mind from it. Hallelujah. When you give to God, you give to God. Yeah, because you, you give to God because you want to receive. Yes. That's true. That's the first level of giving. Amen. When you give to God, say give and it shall be given to you. Good man, you're pressed and running over. Shall men give to your bosom. But there is another level of giving. The last level of giving, when you give, you don't put your mind on it. That's, you, give, you give because you love. Yes, sir. That's what Jesus did. That's what God did. For God so loved the world that he gave. God gave his best. The highest form of giving is giving your best.